Hi guys, it's day five um, of our art YouTube challenges while you're at home on school closures. Um, tonight I'm going to attempt um, an unusual looking Batman cartoon. Uh, it's from the art of Christopher Ominga. Um, I love his uh, art on Instagram and uh, and Facebook. He's, uh, he's a really cool uh, illustrator of unusual cartoon characters. So he's done all sorts of Batman themed uh, art, Joker, things like that. So I'm going to try that anyway tonight. This will go out on day five, um, which is going to be Friday. Hope you're all well. You're all staying safe. And here we go. So I'm going to basically just as top off of his body. So what I'm going to do is probably just draw myself a little uh, kind of guideline where I don't want to go above. So it's kind of, well, let's just kind of box it off like this. Okay, don't need to worry, we'll rub that out later. Okay, so I know I can probably use this um, this guideline up here and kind of measure how far, how big his head is. Again, it's kind of an oversized head. So what we want to do is draw this line down here, but curve it slightly like this, perfect. Um, then a really sharp triangle and stop it there. Okay, now we're going to do the same over here, but we're going to go slightly higher and start slightly higher than this. So we're going to start it over here, but we're going to start it there. So we'll put a dot there, right up, and then I'm going to try and just do a straight line ish. Down to here. Okay, now what I need to do is do the bottom of his face here so it goes a line like this and a curved, kind of curved, you know, diagonal line almost slightly curved like this. And then you simply carry on and join up these two lines. I've done that quite thick, but you can do it. We're going to go over it in pen again in a little while. Okay, so I'm going to try and attempt to do a, a curve across his head. So this will go up. Not too much of a curve, but it's going to go to there. Okay. Now I'm going to draw another line. It's going to go quite close to this one, up and over, but then it's going to join attached to this bottom bit of his ear here. Okay, again, same thing again. We're going to go slightly out and back in there. Okay. And we're going to do a very, very fine line here. And I want you to do a bit of a rectangle, but a really thin rectangle. Long, thin rectangle down to here. Okay, now, important thing in on Christopher Mingus art is to do really oversized eyes. So I'm going to make sure his eyes are really big in a minute. So we'll just get the, the bottom of his face in, his, his classic Batman mask. So... We'll draw a line here. We'll go all the way down to here. Now, what I want you to do is just to continue this, if you can, all the way across, keeping as close to this line as this outside line as you can. Now, stop it here and do a straight line up. Now you've got a straight line here and a straight line there. You want to try and match that as best you can. However, this is going to curve upwards slightly to about halfway there. Okay, I'm going to curve it back down again slightly. So a little curve at the bottom there. Okay, and then the same again here. We're going to go across and stop it there. Now, what we need to do is two points. We're going to draw one line down there, and then we're going to draw a line to meet this one this. Okay, now, I 
need to do is align up there like this and then you're going to make a triangle like this okay and inside here again you can do a really thin line really close to that edge I'll, I'll explain why in a little while okay and that's what you're going to do you're going to do this down here like this okay so there's his, well, his, well, his, his nose would be going to do a, a line down here do a line like this one line like that okay there we go put a line in here as well right now this is not a perfect circle however I'm going to do a curve so where the line is here if you just go slight I'm going to put a few dots here because it's almost like dot to dot so I want you to do a couple of dots like this draw that straight line like this then you're going to go down this way and then you're going to go across and you bring this all the way around now big curve like this to there and then you're going to go straight down so it's going to look like that okay there we go now this one is almost over the edge here so what we're going to do is do a curve this way, but we're not going to touch these lines here. We're going to draw them. Almost. It's almost like an egg shape, this one. Like, so. like this. There you go. Perfect. Looks good, that. Right, now. Underneath his mouth, his neck... His cape and his neck are going to go like this. And then you're going to have a really thin neck here. And it's going to go almost straight down. And it's an angle. going to go out like this. Now, we're going to make him the cape, first of all. So, what I'm going to do is make sure he's got a bit, a bit of neck before we do the cape. So, I'm going to go down in a triangle like this. I'm going to go down in another triangle like this. Okay, now the important thing is to get the. See that the ears are quite sharp. And to carry on doing these sharp angles for his cape. Same again, really thin, ending at a triangle, so the edges are, go up a little bit higher with that one, come down like this, there we go, now, what I want you to do is one more here, that line like that and then you're going to put his belt in so I'm going to draw one line draw across I'm going to do another line at the bottom here same angle almost Let's see if we can match these angles up across down and across okay inside here we're going to do the belt buckle so we're going to go again line across Cir small circle up less of a circle more of an oval in that one up slightly and then we're going to join this across so it should look like that now batman symbol but this is just an arty version, so it goes down like this, and up, and then down, and then up, and then up slightly, down, and up, and then it's going to come in this way, it's going to come in here, I'm going to go across here, it's going to 
going to go up like this. Eventually you're going to have one and two like this, but we're going to put some, uh, some ink across here so it'll look a little bit better than that. So that's basically Batman um, as a piece of art from Christopher Ominga, U-M-I-N-G-A. Um, He's got some great art out there, you go and go and check him out. Really good. So we just need to colour in now. So uh, he uses ink, uh, uses uh, marker pens, big thick marker pens, um, and and it's quite a relaxed way of uh, colouring. I think I'm probably going to go for the trusty uh, pencil crayons, but you could use ink, no problem. The only, th the only problem I've got is I've got uh, either permanent markers or I've got these Stabilo uh, very fine points. Um, markers, you want a thicker marker, so let's, let's, I'm going to probably go round now with this marker pen. I'm going to go just go round the edges now, quite quickly, quite loose. Again, if you wanted to rub out, if you wanted to rub out your lines afterwards, you could do no problem. And don't forget, we've got this mask around the outside of his face here. And this is important because I'm going to colour this in. So I may as well colour it in with ink, actually. Colour it in black with ink. I don't think my pencil crane is fine enough to to not um, go over the edges here. I want quite a sharp. I suppose I could really do this all with fine line. And let's see how we get on. Um, it's much thicker. It's, it's probably going to use all my ink up. So perhaps we won't do that, we'll just do the edges for now. Try and follow that line down if you can. There you go. You see how it's coming together now. It's looking much like more like a cartoon cross here. I really would suggest going to have a look at Christopher Mominga's art. It's absolutely if you just Google his art, it's fantastic. So we're just going to go down, right the way down, there we are. Now if we can, I'm going to follow this rectangle down, remember that really thin rectangle I told you earlier on. Straight down here, fantastic, round his eye, way too much about being really accurate, you can just do your inversion of, uh, of this. You could make again like Deadpool last night. I was doing Deadpool last night. If you didn't see that video, uh, a chibi Japanese art style cartoon characters like cute faces, but that's uh, Deadpool's eyes. All sorts of different uh, personalities through his eyes. Okay, so we're getting there now. Nearly done. Okay, now we'll go straight down his neck, down his cape. Now if you're using a fine line marker pen, these Stabilo ones, if you can get hold of them, Amazon sell them, a big pack of them, um, 25.88 um, I'm using here, really fine. It just means you can get things like this cape done really, really well, really fine at the end of his cape here. You just couldn't achieve that with a pencil crane. So again, nice and loose here. Don't worry too much about being perfect. It's uh, with a cape, it could just be blowing around in the wind. So, especially Batman is on top of buildings. So there we are, coming together now. Go around the Batman symbol now. I'm going to just shade in this Batman symbol black with, a, with this ink pen. There we are. Fantastic. Hope you guys have had a good day anyway. Been outside in the garden a lot today. It's a beautiful day weather wise. I don't think this is going to last. It's cloudy and cold on the weekends, so enjoy the sun while it lasts. 
tend to do most of my art in the evening. Here we go, there we go, perfect, look at that, it's fab. Right, so, what I want you to do now is, the idea here is you colour all of this, all of this black, all of it black if you can. Okay, um, it's going to be a long process, but this is what I'm talking about with a pencil crane. You can't get right in these corners, so you just what you do then is shade in, but then go over the edges again, perhaps with your your fine line ink pen or any kind of Crayola or anything like that. Uh, kind of, you got a thicker black pen. Now. The idea here, Christopher Minga, what he does is he leaves a little bit. So I'm just going to do the same. I'm just going to leave a little bit in this area here. And he, he, he puts another colour in. Like this. So, all sorts here. I think he uses... Um, he could possibly use a computer for this, really. Um, a lot of artists are now doing vector style art. I've seen a brilliant artist that uses uh, the original Microsoft Paint. And he does requests on his Facebook page. It's very political. So he's drawing Boris Johnson at the moment. So we'll leave some, leave some gaps in this. Leave some gaps, nice and dark though, the bits that you're actually colouring in. Like this. Try and go the same direction if you can. There we are. It's coming together now. Try again not to smudge. If you keep your pencil, your hand and your pencil long, if you can here where you're colouring in, so you're just not smudging. And I'd always work from the top to the bottom, so because your hand's going to as you're left-handed, you come in this way. You'd start top right, they really only colour in. Uh, I'll try and start in this area because if you're smudging here, um, you can always use a, a rubber around the outside. I've, I've smudged a little bit here already. Um, don't worry too much about that. If you've got a decent rubber, you can always rub it out, no problem. So, we're going to go over here. See, I've just gone over the edge there. So, what I'll do in a little minute is. Uh, just go over it again uh, with my fine liner just to finish it off. The black in there, leaving a few bits. So I'm going to add another colour in. What you want to do is try and find like a, a light blue or a slight kind of turquoisey green colour if you can. No. What I'm going to do is just go back to my fine liner for a minute. Back to my fine liner. And try and go all in the same direction again here. There we are. So this is coming on now. Very good. And go right round this eye in black, if you can, there we go, right around the eye, excellent, there we go, it's good, okay, and then we're going to try and go around this other eye as well, now my hand's over this paint and this drawing here, so I, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd turn the whole page, the whole sketch pad around, so I wasn't smudging, so again, I've smudged down here, okay, this is the idea now. We're going, I'm going to go round this with a black. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my fine liner in again now. I'm just going to make sure that I'm going over the top of this black. This black here. I like this. I'm going to go over the top of it to make it look a little bit more like I've done it with a, an ink pen instead of we need a pencil crayon to make it look more cartoony, cartoon-like. 
area here needs a bit of blocking so I'm going to just go over this in black right, let's leave a little bit of, leave a gap or two because I'm going to just add another colour in here in a minute and you could do whatever colour you wanted to I mean I've done this before this kind of art before a bit of red in there depends what kind of mood you think Batman's in angry red could do this with a a blue maybe so I'm going to bring in a bit of blue now it's better. A bit thicker black up here, like this. There we go. So, what I'm going to try and do now is I'm just going to get my rubber. Just rub out these outside edges here that I've smudged. There we are. Try not to touch your painting or drawing your rubber you don't want to rub out anything you've just done if I've already gone round in ink now it's be fine it'll be fine it won't rub out but um, just be careful you don't rub any of your crayon out if you've used if you've used crayons okay so a little bit of green on the outside of this go a bit of green light I'm using a light green here use a turquoise if you like there we go look at that you know I've forgotten I've forgotten his uh, his nose here so again miss out a little bit of this if you can again try and go in the same direction if, if possible Definitely use marker pen on this. There we are. So now we want a kind of a fleshy colour here. Across of the fleshy colour. Just from the outside of this. I'm gonna use my trusty grey in a minute, and sparkly grey. Underneath here. Around the outside edge. I'm trying to show a little bit of shadow. Okay, so my favourite grey sparkly. Just go over the top here, just underneath his nose. Underneath his nose. Now the idea here is you can try and get this a little bit darker to show, and a triangle. So if you can do a triangle here, make it look as if it's the the shadow underneath his uh, his triangular nose here. There we go. And then follow that grey round now. There we go. Keep it darker on this outside edge. Grey over the top of that fleshy, mustardy brown colour. Like this. There we go. And then again, a little bit darker here. A little bit darker over the top of that there. And then right round the outside edge. And now what you want to do is this grey needs to carry on just underneath his mouth there. There we are. That's good. Okay, now I'm gonna try a light blue. It's probably between these two colours really. It's kind of turquoisey. Maybe try. I try that, it's a little bit bright. I like to this is like a bit duller than this, but what I'll do is all the way down with this. There we go. And then what you're trying to do now is just colour in the little bits that you've purposely missed, like here, 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 over here, a bit more here. Missed a little bit by his eye. Do this marker pen, it'd be much more clear where your distinctions are. There we go. That's good. 
like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, if you colour it there, sorry, rub that out there. There we are. Right, so um, now, a little bit of blue under here. In between these. There we go, that's good. And then a little bit more here. A tiny bit up there, okay. And then a bit of blue here. A little bit of blue on this side. Tiny bit over there, and a little bit in this section. Okay, that's good. Now, black pen again. We've just what we've got to do is just bring his body in here. So, I'm going to draw something like this. There we go. So. lines there if you've got a thin liner so again we're going to bring this fleshy colour in it's because you're doing his body now just really make it lighter through the middle of this and then slightly darker on the outside edge okay now silver again grey sparkly grey over the top Get that detail in behind his symbol and his chest. Again, a little bit of lighter grey through the middle. Dark grey on the outside edge. There we are. That's good. Now, bright yellow. Like a lemony yellow. So we're going to go... These are Faber-Castell Faber -Castell pencil creams I'm using here. So we're in, in that little bit of yellow under here. Perfect. And now, not a, sort of an orangey. You can use a bright orange if you wanted to, but I'm using a slightly duller kind of mustardy orange, maybe. In there. That's good. Right, the only thing we've got left to do now is the black. And again, uh, fine liner. If you've got enough ink. I'd do it maybe with this one with a fine liner because just because how thin these capes are here. This cape's really quite thin. So I'd go maybe go up like this. And I'll leave a few white bits if you can. Just because Christopher Mingus uh, art is very much like he he leaves some white space. And then sometimes he leaves it white, and other times he just puts a shade or a colour in. You don't want to leave too much white, but yeah, a little bit of white's okay. So I'm just using my fine liner now, which I'd probably not I'd go for a thicker black, it'd be better if you've got a marker pen. The idea is, is not to go over this edge, it's really important. When you get to this stage, you've got to really be careful that you don't spoil the picture. If you're nearly finished. Okay, that's really good. I'm loving that. Okay, so just a little bit of blue now. Just in these, a few of these, a few of these gaps. And there we are. We'll do a few more over here. Okay, we've just missed a little bit of black around this outside edge, so we'll just get this cape in right, really nice and pointy at the end. There we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap, I think. Yeah, let's just go over the black bits. There you go, perfect. And there is my nod to the art of Christopher Aminga uh, and there is a crazy looking Batman. Um, I hope you're all safe anyway. Uh, that was day five, Friday. Uh, it'll be Friday the 27th when this goes out, 27th of March. Hope everybody's uh, keeping safe distances and family and friends are okay. 
and um, hopefully I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Uh, enjoy, show me your um, efforts as well. I've had loads and loads of pictures of uh, toucans and giraffes and um, Corey's uh, sent me a Deadpool from yesterday's video, so well done Corey. Um, excellent uh, to have you on board and continuing to draw and practice while you're not in school. Um, don't forget practice makes perfect and uh, as I said a few videos ago I spent most of my youth painting and drawing cartoon characters really before I started doing actual uh, pieces of art. Um, so the more you practice the better you get. My eight year old daughter is practicing a lot now, she's getting really good, uh, really impressed with her. So. Uh, um, thanks for having a go and um, speak to you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.